All right, guys, steel FS55. We're going to have a bad primer bulb on this. And we're going to put a kit in it. Pull this line off the carb here. We've got the one underneath as well. You've got your throttle cable here. You have to kind of pull that up and it'll slide right out. Okay, there's our carburetor. This is a Zama C1Q right there. One of the things about these, you know, you can't just go down to your parts store and tell them you got a steel FS55 and you want a carb kit for it because they put different carburetors on that model. There are some numbers on the back, you know, we've, uh, we got the C1Q here on this side and it's a Zama. Um, on the back of this here are some numbers that they're going to want and it's they're very hard to read I use a uh, magnifying glass maybe it's my tired old eyes uh, you want to get those numbers or take your carb off and take it down there to them to get the right the right kit for it anyway that's just a tip we're going to start in on this uh, start in on this carburetor here Okay, we're going to start on this uh, carb rebuild for the steel here. So we can get all these screws out. Go ahead and uh, get a kit in it. Get the primer bulb replaced. And see if we can make it run like a new one. There's our old primer bulb. Okay, let's get our let's go and get our needle valve and spring carrier and the pin out of it. Okay, we should have all this new in our kit. Okay. Got a little Let's to clean the body of the carburetor up. We've got a lot of the uh, where the metering diaphragm stuck to it. Let's get that cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and this time I'm going to pull this. Uh, go ahead and get this Welsh plug out of here. See if it'll how easy it's going to be or not. somewhere so we can get this Welsh plug to cooperate come out of there and we'll get it we can clean up under it and get it replaced there we go got the Welsh plug out now you can see uh, up under the Welsh plug there are itty bitty orifices that will need to be cleaned. Go ahead and get the pump side taken apart. Last, on that Bowens, I didn't do that. First time around, I was being lazy. I didn't pop the Welsh plug out and blow through those orifices. I'm not gonna have <laughs> just laziness on my part. I'm gonna replace this screen too. If I can get this out of here. There we go. Got the old screen out. It's not too dirty, but it's uh we've got a new one, I'm gonna replace it. Period. Get that replaced. But you can see a little 
a little funky up under there. It's cleaned. Basically, you know, um, every time I do one of these carburetors, it's a process. It's a process of taking. I use the breaking parts cleaner. It does a really good job. It's pretty harsh. Pretty harsh on your fingers. Not something you want to get all over your hands. It'll dry you out real quick and it burns. But uh, you may want to wear some nitrile gloves or whatever. But it's a process where I'm, I'm spraying through every orifice with this. Around on the outside of the carb too. Okay. Getting everything clean. I'm going back and blowing it all out. And you could see on the last video with the bowlings. What a difference it made. In taking the welsh plug out and cleaning under there. Blowing through those little orifices. That's all that kept that thing from running. Was those little tiny orifices being plugged. Okay. But it made all the difference in the world. You know. So. Anyway. One thing on this guys. I counted my turns. On these. These screws here are removable. These adjustments. Are removable. Removable. I just counted the. Uh, count the number of threads down till it's seated. And then I'm going to count the number back when I put it back. I just wanted to throw that in there. This you can see it's like a half, one, one and a half. Okay, it's one and a half turns on that one. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I just want to check back in with you guys and show you. You see this kind of stuff right here? Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. That's the kind of stuff that's got to come out of there. All right, guys, we're going to be cleaning through one, two, these orifices here. Making sure everything's clear. I've already uh, sprayed through them with some solvent. Right, guys, what I'm going to start doing first is I'm going to go ahead and get my Welsh plug replaced. Okay. Just going to take this screwdriver, same width as the Welsh plug. Okay. I'm going to tamp it down in there. Okay. Welsh plug's in. Now. Let's go ahead and get my jet. Make sure it's good and clear. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to run a piece of wire through there real quick. I cleaned it out, but man, those mistakes, that laziness will get you. Get you every time. Let's get her jet put back in. Let's go in with our new spring. So I'm gonna have to try to balance that. Or sit up flat to work and work on it. Sit up straight, get that angle off of it. Now we've got our needle valve carrier, our pin. Let's get our needle valve. Okay. Go ahead and straight down on the needle on the spring here. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get our screw. The retaining screw in there. Run that bad boy down. Okay, now with this guy, you don't want it that way. You get your hole over here. You want this way. You got a little port right here with an orifice. Okay. Get all your gaskets lined up on it. Because you could put that one on backwards, which would be a no no. All right. Now, where is my. There we go. Okay, guys. We are moving onward and upward. Alright, now, need my, get my primer bulb installed here. All 
Alright guys, working on the pump side of the carburetor, we've got our screen. I wouldn't recommend you use anything sharp to press this down. I'm going to use this. We want to get that screen installed. Now remember, this is reversed. Okay, on this side, you don't want to put the gasket on first and then this pump diaphragm. You want to make sure that you get it lined up. You've got an orifice here and an orifice here. Okay, that's where those little valves are going to go. You've got some dowels that will want to go. Those holes. Well, hopefully she's going to fire up for us, fellas. Let me see if I can get her primed here. It's bone dry. It's going to take a few pumps to get there. We're starting to see some gas now. Okay. Um. Alright, fellas. I, got, I adjusted on the carburetor. A little bit seems to be running really good now. Let's fire it up. Okay, I think we're going to call that one done. And uh, I don't know what's next, but we'll get into something.